When he talks about the sleep of the worker, he's talking about the laborer who can actually sleep in perfect peace versus the person who works so hard that they can't rest when they lay down. Now, this shift from manual to mental labor, I want to be real clear. I am in no way saying we do not have a place for manual labor. If you've ever been in that place where you've had busted pipes flooding your house, if you've ever been in the city of Houston in the middle of August with a broken AC unit, you give God praise for that manual lurker who actually knows what they're doing. Amen? So this isn't a, a shot at anyone who does manual labor. Here's what I'm trying to get you to, 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 to think about. There are times when your body says, go rest, but mentally you can't. It's easier for the body to just go lay down, but your mind is still running and running and running and running. So when I'm saying let's make this shift, what I'm talking about is getting to a place where we're actually able to rest, to sleep peacefully, simply because we have done the necessary lifting that mentally our brains aren't still firing when we try to lay down. Mental exhaustion is the perfect ingredient if you're trying to create a batch of anxiety, which will prevent you from going to sleep. So this shift can be a very good shift if we learn how not to let our money dictate our thoughts to the point that we're wide awake. Hey, thanks for watching. To find out more about Houston's First, you can subscribe to our channel or you can go to houstonsfirst.org.